All right, so Kershaw sent me one of their knives today, and they didn't send it for free. I paid for it, but they're the ultimate supplier. And this one is called the Kershaw 1935 Fast, no, Fat Back. That's Fat Back. Looks like they're running out of names for knives, so they're naming after pig parts. So I'm waiting on the Kershaw Snout and the Kershaw Fetlock, maybe. So let's take a look at this uh, fat back. First of all, it is a flipper knife. You can see the flipper right there. And it has their patented speed safe spring. So that thing flips out very fast right out of the box fast and the weight on this is 3.7 ounces now you can see the black scales they are plastic and probably a glass filled nylon flow through design really good lockup no blade play front forward backwards anyway blade centering Pretty good, I'd say it's close to close to perfect, not quite. Good function, good functioning speed safe. So it's got a black oxide coating, and the blade is now they're saying it's 3.5 inches, but it looks a, li or a little bit shorter than that to me. I think they measure it right to the pivot point but the sharp part of the blade is right about three inches let's take a look at the markings on this thing of course they got the Kershaw logo and it says Kershaw speed safe the other side says 1935 and you can see the uh, 8CR MOV and where it's made it's not a USA knife it's a Chinese knife So this action is really good. Speed safe flipper. Overall length of this thing is right about just under seven and a half inches. Thickness of this thing is about a half inch, not counting the pocket clip. And the pocket clip is excellent. It's a four way pocket clip. This is set up for right hand tip up. But the best thing about this pocket clip, it's very, very deep carry. You can see that is as deep as you can make it. Very nice pocket clip. They got that part of, our, part of this knife right. Let's take a look at the traction notches. And of course, it's got them on the flipper right there. Really good. And there are traction notches on the thumb ramp, but there is no thumb ramp. It's just flat. So they're kind of smooth. But the traction notches on the scales are excellent. Also on the liner lock. Look at all those traction notches. Really good. They got that right. And the pivot is adjustable with a T6 torque wrench, I believe. That's what it looks like. And that is a hollow ground blade. Excellent right out of the box. Let's do a cut test with just regular paper first. Very close to being razor sharp. That was just regular paper. Now we'll do some just a little bit of uh, medium stock cardboard. That's just me, it's not the knife. Excellent on cardboard. So I'm gonna do a little comparison with my normal carry knife, which is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. You can see it's just about almost the same length, about seven and a half inches. It's about the same weight too. 
But Kershaw got this one right. I hope they do more like this. Like the snout. Or a fetlock. Let's do a drop test. I love doing drop test. First we're going to do with the blade closed. No rattle. Still works fine. Didn't loosen up at all. Now I'm going to do with the blade open. No rattle, no blade play, still seems to be okay. Yep, still works with that uh, successful drop test on this Kershaw Fatback. And I think I, it cost me about 25 bucks on Amazon. So there is the Kershaw Fatback. Pretty nice design. I'm going to give it a 9 out of a, 9 out of 10 score. It's a good one. And I'm going to give it a little cowbell. Just because I like cowbell. Knuckle bump.